Welcome back everyone. I'm going through all of the monster submissions for the Oath to Embers contest, and there's one in particular that I really wanted to redo, so come check it out. Best part about the monster contest is you do not have to be an artist. You basically just make up a kick-ass monster, send it into the Oath to Embers website, and then you have a chance to win cash prizes from there. First place is 500 big ones. Second place, $300. Third place, $200. And the coolest part, your monster's gonna be in the game. Now, one of these stood out a lot to me, and this one was from Sammy and Aaron, who are really big followers of the Oath to Embers game, and they did this really cool monster drawing called the Panelaire. The name comes from the Gaelic word Pantor, meaning panther, and the Gaelic word Lolaire, which means eagle. The small cat with eagle features is a cunning, agile, flying feline that lives in the treetops. It uses high-pitched, fast purrs to stun or kill foes. This one looks like it'd be a fun one to paint, so let me go ahead and give it a shot real quick. First thing I gotta do is find some references. I really like this black cat here, especially because you can see all the, the coat around his face. This guy looks like a little lion mane. I'm definitely gonna use that one. I also really like this one because it shows a lot of his eyes, but it also shows a lot of color around that main area, and I'm definitely gonna use that in the painting. Now what I'm looking for is stances. So I really like this one here. This one's Obliscura, it's the Sphinx from someone from ArtStation. I also really like this stance here, the Sphinx from Nord Saul on DeviantArt. It's one of the first things I thought of when I was thinking of a cat-like creature with wings. I always thought of like a Sphinx. It was like the first thing that came to my mind, so I'm gonna roll with that. I really don't know why, but something about this cat with wings and panel air, it just, it sounds educated. It sounds, I don't know why it sounds like that. So I'm gonna try to put it in a place like a, like a library or something. Here's a cool reference of a library, Old Library 1 by Clapped Beans on DeviantArt. I really like all of these windows and I like all of the, just that you can tell there's a lot going on in the background. And this is a really fuzzy picture here, but I can get the point from it. This is a bank library art from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So now that I've got my references, let's see if we can make this pan layer come to life. Now I typically start off my paintings just trying to get all of my big basic shapes in the setting and scene of the library. And then what I'll do is I'll just do a real rough sketch and I'll do like a block in silhouetted shape of some dark colors. The next thing I'm gonna focus on right now is going to be the face details. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a benchmark for the rest of the piece. It kind of gives me some motivation to see at least one part of this painting done. And a lot of it is just playing back and forth from a mixture of dark, light, dark, light. I really want to make sure that I'm getting a lot of that light from behind him on that window, kind of pushing off to the back of his ears, back of his wings, and I definitely want to keep the animal looking regal, but I also want to make it look like it's a monster. So kind of cupping the ears back to make them look kind of like horns and kind of uh, fraying out those wings a little bit. So here is the panel air, all finished, ready to go. I was really excited about this little one, man, because he kind of has that like regal, but also not to be fucked with kind of look to him. So I hope you guys enjoyed checking out that painting video. And if you guys also want to sign up for the monster contest, you can do so at www.oathtoembers.com. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed what you watched and you wanted to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get updates on all of the artwork that I'm doing. And if you know anyone who's into board games or fantasy RPGs who would really like this page, it would be awesome if you could share this. Thank you guys again so much for watching.